Good day guys, nice to have you here. Welcome. Today I will show you game footage, which is the reason why I have never surrendered NEVER SURRENDER in a valid ranked game. This video contains tips, tricks, and explanations behind the decisions made within the game, so make sure to stay tuned. Let's go! Before we continue though, I want to give my shoutouts to QWERTY QUIRT, Janelle Katluan, and we also have Emmanuel B. Samar, Zenki 24YT, Geraldo G97, 20 Yurichi 06, Craft Guy 115, and Supreme Septicai. And they too host YouTube channels, so make sure to give them some love. This was a very difficult game, especially since Sun was picked too early. Would have been better if he was picked fourth or last in order to lessen the chances of getting countered. Because of such bad decision, four of the heroes on the opposing team picked were all good counters against Sun. Speaking of good counters, if you want to get more ideas on how to counter the monkey, monkey, why monkey? I will leave a video link below for you guys to enjoy and learn from. Learning your favorite hero's weaknesses is also an excellent idea to learn how to counter the counters against him. So if you want to win more games against Sun or win more games as Sun, give that link a click. Helcurt, if fed enough, is actually a good counter against Sun since he has the ability to disrupt Sun's split pushing. Helcurt's first ability can also downright wipe out Sun's clones in a heartbeat. Benedetta, on the other hand, is a melee assassin with AoE bursts which is difficult to escape from and is also difficult to chase down. Like Helcurt, she is also excellent in wiping out Sun's clones. I was actually hoping player number 2 to pick Khalid in order for us to have a stunner with a wide range. Having him picked will also lessen the threats against Sun. Despite that, he actually picked Mia, which is, to be honest with you guys, a bad pick in this situation. Since we are up against heroes that can get close to her fast and burst her down quickly. Was really hoping for either a Khalid or a Claude. Khalid, on the other hand, is an excellent counter against Sun. As long as the player controlling him will get the right items, taking care of Sun would be extremely easy, especially on the early game. Hanabi will be an excellent counter against Sun as well, however, her power spike will be felt only on the latter part of the game. This means I still have a chance of cancelling out her impacts as long as I end this game fast. Since it will be difficult for me to join clashes, I decided to focus my attention on objectives, which is why I equipped Mage Killer. I also invested my stats on bonus damage and battle spell cooldown reduction in order to cast Arrival frequently. These are the items I used for this game. These are mainly picked in order to increase my chances of survival. It also intends to counter HP regeneration effects and overwhelm heroes in longer battles. I also made sure to cap cooldown reduction in order to ensure that I'll be able to use my ultimate as frequent as possible which will be vital in winning this unfair game by pushing turrets. If you want a more in-depth guide on Sun and all the different items compatible with him, I have a link for that in the description below. Make sure to check it out. One of our teammates admittedly lost data connection. This is going to be one of the struggles for this game. I know this is going to be easier said than done, but try to refrain from summoning your clones too much as this gives enemies XP and gold. Try your best to get as much XP and gold as you can passively by staying within the XP and gold radius or by last hitting minions. Despite that though, try not to be too aggressive. This is not a good matchup to be doing so. Instead, be patient and stay close to your turret as much as possible whilst getting sufficient XP and gold from your enemy minions. Proper rotation is also a must. This means visit the middle lane as frequent as possible in order for you to gather more XP and gold. This is most applicable though when your middle lane is defenseless. That way you and your ally will not share too much XP and gold. Doing so will help you lessen the level and gold gap from you and your enemies. Don't feel upset if you are having a hard time on the solo lane. It's games like this that makes a solo laner better. 
It's games like this where you learn proper zoning and freezing. Use this challenging situation as a means to improve further. Whatever happens, try not to get tilted. Stay focused and instead do whatever it takes to survive and gain more experience and gold. Also, at the beginning of this video, I told you that their heroes are good counters against Sun. This means it's best if you try to avoid joining clashes for now. Your presence will simply make the enemy stronger in the long run. Keep in mind that your clones are still very weak on the early game, and your enemies will simply gain gold and experience from killing them. Instead, keep your eyes on the minimap every 5 seconds and look for opportunities to push turrets. The enemy As you can see, Khalid and I have almost equal experience or level. That means I have been properly executing my rotations and last hits. I now have sufficient gold as well for one of my main items which is War Axe. Having this item will help me farm faster. I know this is a very boring strategy that seems pointless as well, but trust me, at this point, an awful lineup, this is the best you can do to gamble for a victory. My allies sadly are feeding the enemies fairly well. No use getting tilted though, just focus on the game and do what it takes to increase your chances of winning. The enemies were able to kill our bottom lane defenders. Let's use Arrival to prevent them from destroying that turret. Like I said at this point, every little thing you can do to win counts. And if you guys are not aware of it, using Arrival on structures render them immune to damage or invulnerable. Also, if you guys are not aware of it, you can cancel Arrival's casting prematurely. Doing so will also lower down its cooldown, or in other words, reimburse a portion of the cooldown that you have wasted. Again, no use in fighting, just focus on getting turrets. Besides, that was Benedetta. She has advantage on the early game against you. Fighting her will only help her by getting fed by your clones. This was actually a huge gamble. I know for a fact that two of them are low on HP which is why I decided to join in the clash. Sadly, Franco was focused enough to ensure he can pin me down and protect his allies resulting to my demise. However, it is also a fact that I have never lost a game wherein I started a score of 0-1-0. Triggered my trap card! I now have enough allies to defend the base, which means this is the best chance for me to orchestrate a split push. Little by little, I will control the map until we eventually win. The game is now taking its toll on our marksman Psyche. He should have went to a better position. Instead, Mia was playing it too safe, which is why Hylus died needlessly. Take advantage of the fact that a lot of them are dead. Let your allies take care of the Lord while you distract your enemies and clear the lanes. Besides, only Khalid is alive, which means if he decides to contest the Lord, he'd die anyway. Don't imitate other players who keep doing nothing when victory is at hand. And again, despite your rising advantage over the enemy team, keep in mind that their heroes are still going to be difficult to deal with since they are good counters against you. Don't be greedy for glory, but instead focus on victory. Whatever it takes, forget about the kills. Just focus on winning.
Maybe you're wondering why Khalid lost so easily. Later on, check his items out and you'll see why. That concludes our gameplay video for today. I hope you find this video insightful. Like I said earlier, don't forget to check out my other son videos for his in-depth guides. If you like more content like this, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay safe, everyone. Peace.